Hey everyone, Jamie at APR here to tell you about two new features available for the Mark VI Golf R with manual transmissions. The new launch control feature offers a user adjustable maximum RPM while stationary with the added benefit of increased boost off the line. If you're looking to improve your 0 to 60 or quarter mile times, this feature is for you. Setting the launch control RPM limit is quite simple. Simply pull the handbrake, make sure the vehicle is in neutral, all feet are off the pedals, rev the engine, and when you reach your desired RPM, which I suggest between 4 to 5,000 RPM as a starting point, tap the brake, and it has now saved that RPM value in the computer. To test it, shut off traction control, remove the handbrake, press the clutch, rev the engine till it stops on the limiter, and you should see boost begin to build. Now you're ready to launch. The next new feature is called no lift shifting and allows the driver to shift at full throttle without ever lifting off the accelerator pedal. The main benefit is increased acceleration between shifts while maintaining boost and no fear of over rev. With traditional full throttle shifting, the driver is required to let go of the accelerator pedal in order to prevent an over rev condition from occurring. This also releases all the boost pressure that was built up and requires the turbo to spool up all over again at the beginning of each gear, like so. This may look like a small amount of time, but it really adds up when you're doing acceleration testing. Now let's give the no lift shifting feature a try. The only requirements is that the vehicle must be above 12 miles an hour and the accelerator pedal must stay at 98% or higher. There's no pesky timers to worry about. The faster you can shift, the better it works. You also notice that the boost is staying up a lot better between the shifts. Now let's pair the launch control and no lift shift features together and see how they do. Traction control off, launch build, 